Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In the last episode, we did some quality of life improvements and a bit of coding. Leaning into variables. We're going to lean into variables a bit more throughout. throughout. Uh, I'm not going to do a dedicated video on variables as it's very hard to make just whole thing about doing one thing with variables because variables work in such different ways that it's really hard to just nail them bang straight on the head uh perfectly sum them up that's what i mean so yeah that's what but so we're just going to start off with from now on it's going to be mostly quality of life improvements so this is when the tutorials sort of end but i'll be teaching how to do certain stuff throughout so yeah, stay tuned for that, and yeah, I will be teaching you how to use these, I'll have like a whole a pro version of this, so once this is done, I'll add an occasional video or two just to like make it really good when I learn new stuff. That's why you should always keep in mind, even with these scratch things, I have projects from years ago. Uh, where I didn't know how to make movement and I just go back and I just like you're stupid Arlo fix that bang fixed even though I'm not gonna even bother using that again <laughs> but yeah anyways let's go again so with this we don't want it to be in the same place it's a bit boring so we're gonna have when this is clicked go to random position in the coin so now it's in a random position Let's go get it. Ah, uh, never mind. We can't have it because we, we don't go up. Uh, we have to have it so it goes. Let's see. Um. Ignore that. Let's just have him. Let's just have the little thing here. Oh, you know what? We might change the jump at some point. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, so this is a bit cluttered. So I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff for a minute. We don't need them. Uh, so what are we gonna do today? Oh yeah, I remember now. We actually do need this guy. We are going to make an animation for the sword. So, we're going to make the the button to fight Q. So, let's just go here. Let's do some coding here. So, when Q's press, we're going to make, this is why I made sword one because we can make multiple swords. So one thing we're just gonna do quick, include these, just these two. Just gonna group them, and then we're gonna do a little, just gonna move it, just gonna move it down. So you can see, boof, it's gonna be So we can have a quick look. Also just gonna tilt this a bit down as well. So here look, we have one, two, three, four. So we're gonna want to split our code into four. So let's just do a little bit of a calculator. Um, so, we have one second divided by four. Twenty-five seconds. So, we're going to go to... Uh, we're just going to do a bit of variable work, but similar to what we've done before. If... equal variable my sword variable we made in the last episode equals one then such 
to sword one. Then what we're gonna want is to wait 0.25 seconds. Because that's what we calculated was the amount of time in between each thing. So then we're gonna want to go to sword two and duplicate this one. Uh, then we're gonna want to have switch costume to sword three. Duplicate that one. Switch to sword four. Da -da -da. And now we have this. So let's have a look. Ah, let's try and do sword battle. We can't. See, can we equip the sword with one? No. So let's go grab the sword. Let's have our inventory. So let's see. Woo. One thing, that's kind of slow. So we're going to want to speed that up. We might want to make this 0 0.2. We're just going to get, we're going to shave off because the 5 will equal to 0 0.1 of a second. So let's see. Is this a bit faster? Here we are. It's a bit faster, but still not great. So what about 1.15? So 0 0.15. Let's see. This should shave off a um, bit, uh, quite a bit of a second. Let's see. There we go. That's not fast, though, in my opinion. I don't think that's very fast. Um, so we're actually going to just make it 0 0.1. There you go, you can get rid of all of this. All of this. Needs to be fast, chop in action. There you go. Now let's see. Boom, 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 boom. See, I'm making this along with you guys. This is my, my thoughts. My thoughts. Just as much as it's your riders. Um. So let's go have a look. There we are. So that's where we're going to stop it for this video. Just adding a bit of an animation. Oh, wait. Hmm. We need something to fight. So, now, this is where we're going to go a bit deeper into variables, but, yeah. So, make a variable. We're going to do n, n, Any me, enemy hurt. Here we are. So now let's make an enemy. Let's just find one here. Fantasy. Ghost. Here we are. Oh wow, you're very big. Let's make you forty percent. There we are. So let's. When Q is pressed. Let's make enemy hurt to one. We're also so forever if then. So let's get our operators out equals one enemy hurt equals one so this is where it's gonna go like really like well if touching cat then we're going to
switch to ghost. Switch costume to ghost C. Then we're gonna wait. Uh, wait. Zero point four. Zero point, yeah. Zero point four seconds. And then we're gonna hide. So that's a bit complicated. That's a lot of layers. Um, so we're just gonna do show, switch to costume A. Then we can get when this is click here. So let's have a look. Oh wait, one thing we should always do um, when this right clicked. Ba -da -da -da, ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Set enemy hurt to zero. Yeah. Here we are. So let's go get our sword. So let's walk over him. Let's attack him. There we are. Is that not awesome? But one thing we also want to do, cool little feature we're going to do, is we're going to change coin by one. You're going to get a coin from hurting him. So, let's see. Oh, I think I know where the problem is. Let's get rid of this forever part. So we're gonna make something. It's an infinite loop. So let's just make it. I'm just gonna call it loop. So here we're gonna have, when this is clicked, broadcast loop. Then we're just going to get something called forever. I'm just going to pop that there. So now it will forever be looping. So now we're going to get the ghost. When I receive loop. So this means it's forever going to be checking. So now we can see. Why is it not making it? Yeah, set enemy hurt to one. Can you? Can I get the loop starting, please? You should be dying. Go, go, go. Get rid of that part. Oh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> now I see the loop. Here we are. So now let's try it. Let's get the loop started. Now we can go here. We need to add a another zero there. Hide, then change coin by one. Um, so now let's try.
No, you could just scratch that uh, loop part. Let's just do forever. When? Okay. There we are. So it should work fine. The same. Um, we've got coins. One thing, if you'd like, this is just a possibility. Don't have to do this, um, but this is a little extra for those of you who've watched. Uh, we we're gonna add add things inventory. Ooh. We can add ghost goo to inventory. And what ghost goo does, I will not say. That would be in another video. Anyways, goodbye. This is the sort of beginning of the complicated parts. So if you're happy with how it is and you just needed a couple of things to start off with coding, you can end here. Um, but if you'd like some more complicated stuff, it'd like to properly make a game, uh, then continue watching. Goodbye guys!